Right, so welcome to this uh, first attempt at a Mad Hat video. Today we'll be looking at Transformers Prime Sergeant Cup. This is his vehicle mode here. Pretty nifty wee green kind of turquoisey car with science canisters on the back here. It rolls, which is awesome, to be fair. Looks fairly solidish. It's kind of got like a whole chunk thing going on with a nice little greenish or greenerish swoosh. That's kind of spoiled by the wee port here, but I don't know, it looks like it's a wee kind of carish port, if you ask me. He's got kind of nice paintwork on the grill there, and I assume the swooshes in the top bit is as well. Nice kind of see through windows there where you can see his hand sticking out there, but it's kind of a back seat kind of thing, kind of thing. It's it's really quite nice. I like it. It's, it's solid. The only unsolid thing I should mention, I should say, it's kind of got a giant hole in its underneath, which is fairly terrible, because that's where the boot is. <laughs> anyway, so apart from that, it's quite quite nice. The uh, science canisters do unplugged, so you can have them have it, or him, cup, I should say, without it, and it still looks alright, I mean, from this angle, it's it's a car with a hole in it, and, uh, underneath, you got the kind of fake windshield that'll be on his robot mode, kind of cool though, I suppose, you can see kind of engine bits, the Autobot symbol there, the uh, science canisters, or guns, do plug into the side there on the port and on the other side so you can have them as car guns if that makes any sense or car boosters, I kinda like them as better with the kinda ness of it and then they they fall off which is which is a shame the uh... The transformation's alright, it's pretty, again, kind of solid, kind of simple. Hopefully it'll work first time here when I try it. Maybe if I follow me up a little bit here. Can I usually unplug the legs first and then take the uh, the whole roof off there and separate the arms out a little bit first and it's a whole kind of mess at this point but you can uh, come, come underneath and this is one thing I didn't notice for a wee bit here, you have to swivel his, his crotch out to get the whole thing there and it kind of clicks in a wee bit quite nicely and then you can uh, see his legs forming there he's not got any feet because they're nicely tucked in under here and then they fold out there and there they form the, the actual feet of cup they're kind of Kinda, yeah. Uh, what's the word? Not as solid again as I'd like them, because they kind of bend inwards and it's kind of, mm, which is a, uh, which is something I suppose. He's got his whole hand thing that kind of forms here, which is nice again. It folds, well, folds out if I do it like that. Then he push it in again, and then do it with the other one. So it's the swivel it round, and it's off screen. Just a second here, I'll bring us up, get a better view. Alright, so you see his head poking out there, you just uh, gotta make sure that's out enough. And uh, we just plug the. Well, we're meant to take this thing out, which is. Where the thing kind of gets a wee bit weird for me, because I'm not entirely sure how it's meant to go. Every time I transform it, I feel like I'm breaking it, but uh, it'll get a wee bit more broken in a second, as you'll see. So uh, you kind of just have to force it out there, and then uh, it breaks off, which is. Ugh. But his, uh, this is quite nifty, but I think he's got quite a solid backpack that plugs in there. You can bring these little things out. 
I'm not even sure what they are. I suppose they're these lights in vehicle mode. But he, he makes a nice kind of... Again, my thumbs run away. He makes a nice kind of roll cagey kind of shoulder pad to deal for Sergeant Cup here. As they plug in. Now see this? This here is meant to like stick out like that and it's kind of horrible but because it easily breaks off like that you can just swap it around and make it all nice and backpackier and then his arms kind of come up for a final clunk in and then there's his feet being all kind of wibbly so he's kind of harder to stand like that but after all that you get him you get him all together and he's he's quite nice you can see him he's quite he's got a standard looking guy he's got a standardy, solid, mass production y Autobot look to him. Who in no way was meant to be Ironhide at some point. Or will be, or is currently. His uh, articulation is quite quite funky. He's the only thing he's missing really is this kinda he's not got a waist joint. But I can live with that. Because he's got these nice kinda legs going on, these leggy legs. Where he can, he's got kind of, he's got a ball joint at the, uh, at the top here, and he can. He's got a kind of knee hinge going on, but it's a weird kind of. His boots are giant or long, and they they don't get a really kind of. I suppose the word satisfying look to them, and then when you try to to pose them, he's kind of, he's kind of just lifting his leg up there. But his arms, his arms are quite nice. They're kind of. A wee bit limited by the the headlighty thing here and the the fact the wheels on the back of them, but they get kind of a fairly solid esque range. The only thing about the hands in robot mode here is they they kind of they kind of flop out because the clip isn't amazingly solid, and they have the whole kind of hollow hands thing going on, hollow arms I should say, which is kind of but I've got over it because it looks. Looks alright. He's got some nice kind of put up your dukes poses going on where you can be like, ugh, and, ugh, and that kind of that kind of whole that kind of whole thing. So uh, he's 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 not too amazing, but he's fairly solid, and he's got a nice kind of like face going on, like it's very angular and kind of kind of grumpy. And I don't think you can see it on this camera, but he's got some nice yellow eyes stand out quite a nice against the yellow and the green the yellow and the green the silver and the green of his head because that makes sense if I said that so hi sergeant cup bit of an awesome guy uh, he's kinda got a broken arm there but you can meant to have it up like that hi quite like him he looks quite good again like I say he's a kinda gruntish looking guy even though He's a sergeant, he's kinda he's kinda one of the men, if you get me. He's kinda like a not too fancy or not too too basic, but he's kinda got that nice kinda standard shape going on. Both science canisters and the guns, those are his his two accessories. They're quite nice. They are basically like massive hair dryers. But that's that's okay. It looks good on him, like you can Plug them into his hands and he can hold them successfully. If you can see up here. So you can have them with one or you can have them with both. The whole he's going to properly dry you with his his giant hair canisters. Hair canister that that's that's something else. Hair guns? Guns. They're guns. He's got guns. They also, because he's got those ports on his uh, side, or on his arms now, so you can have them sticking in like that, and it's it's not as fun, really. It's, it's kind of... They're not, they're not long enough, is the thing. So don't, they kind of just look like... I don't even know what they look like. But, because I was saying before, they can be the other way around, so you've got... You've got boosters on your hands now, so you can be all... rocket or punch which I'm sure he does. He might do it. You never know. They also quite nifty in that they combine. Combine. Oh. Combine. There we go. We got got there in the end. And you can have them 
with one massive cannon for shooting fools. Which is quite nice, and because the weird kind of circular combine in there, they can they can get if you strain enough, and I'm hopefully sure this will work on camera. Uh, uh, see there, the kind of awkward angle. Ah, oh, come on. No, it's not. It's gonna be awkward. No, there we go. Success, kind of, until they broke. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to work. But you can! I mean, if you're smarter than me, you can plug them in both hands and you can be all holding a gun in two hands. Like I'm sure most soldiers or sergeants do. So hey, Sergeant Cup. Kind of amazing. In a kind of standard kind of way. Which I like. I like that kind of thing. And if I could get him to stand, which I can now, I can bring in another. Oh, I bought buddy for a wee. Oh, there was no fall. Size comparison. And then he fell and it was all amazing. Alright, so he's kinda he's quite nicely sized. He's kinda when you got Wheeljack in there, Wheeljack feels chunkier, wider shoulders. So he seems more of a kinda beasty, kinda looking silhouette. Whereas Sergeant Cup's kinda just like hey, just a guy. Fighting a war. It's going well. It's going well. <laughs> Hi, so there was an attempt at review. Bye!